Hey everybody and welcome back to Metallic Acid Customs. My name is Justin and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Fantex Glacier Series R220 and R160 Reservoir and Pump combos. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy it then please consider subscribing and hitting that notification button and uh, when videos like this pop up in the future you'll be notified straight away. So without further ado please uh, sit back relax and let's take a look at these bad boys. So let's go ahead and unbox the Glacier R220. This is the uh, the bigger version of the two reservoirs that are currently being sold. Um, so we take off the lid and we're met with some thin foam. And the presentation here is actually really nice. You see the reservoir is actually inlaid in this very, uh, very soft foam. You can lift that straight out and pop that onto the small thin foam beside it. Um, just on the left here I can see that there is an IGB strip and here we have a connector on one side. This is covered in rubber on the one on this face as well. So we'll see what happens with this in a second. Underneath all of this foam packaging we have what looks like to be a 120 and 140 millimeter mounting bracket. This is so that you can mount it onto any 120 or 140 millimeter um, fan placement or radiator placement. We also have a couple of mounting holes here, which looks like it would be for the reservoir for the strip, maybe. Here we go. It's a perfect fit. So via these holes within the strip, you can actually mount the reservoir. And I would assume that the, the holes on the side of the reservoir would actually match up with the holes on the RGB strip. And you would create a sandwich like this. So that's the mounting bracket there. Let's put that back in the box. Have a nice little accessories bag here as well. Uh, pump screws, longer screws. We have an RGB connector for one connection. We have an RGB splitter, so we can split this connection to two. We have an RGB connection extension cable. Bracket lead screws. All right, so this is actually to mount uh, directly into fans and to mount the bracket onto the reservoir itself. So that's the accessories there. Let's go ahead and quickly mock up. Uh, there's also an instruction book which is um, not included in this pre-sample package. Um, they're, they're actually right now, Fentex right now are going through and revising the instruction book so that the information is more precise. Um, the illustrations are better as well. So, let us go ahead and mount up the reservoir combo. So we have four fan screws and we have four short hex screws and uh, so two short hex screws and two long hex screws. I would imagine that we would use the short ones for this particular example. So like this, you would use the two screws which are short Oops. to attach the RGB strip to the block itself. Like so. Now depending on your configuration as well, what's actually really handy about this bracket is the fact that you can place it anywhere in correlation to the block itself. So you have um, very flexible mounting solutions and because these are not set holes, these are actually slits in the bracket itself then you can slide uh, the bracket up and down as well and get that, that fine tune in that position. So let's say, all right, I would like to install the bracket. Uh, we'll just install it in the middle just for the sake of simplicity. So I take my longer screws, 
And these ones attach the bracket to the RGB strip and attach the entire kit to the reservoir itself. So what I find is really handy regarding the connection placement of the RGB strip, it's down the bottom here. And what it actually allows is for the RGB strip to come down the bottom. And then you can actually route that with the pump itself because here is actually a pump mount, um, which I'll go ahead and install right away as well using these pump screws. Perhaps this would have been easier with the bracket off. So put those screws to the side. We have a an aluminium. Let's bring this up here. It's an aluminium plate, and this sits on the back of the pump, and this acts as a heat sink, just like the rest of this is a heat sink as well. Here we have an Acetel spacer, and this basically acts as um, oh, it's a it's a spacer. It it just makes it so that this. Uh, particular plate is flush with the rest of the plate when a pump is not used in this configuration. So there's already an o-ring in place just make sure that it has not moved from its groove. Well there is no groove there so we just put it on the pump. Let's bring this box over. We can place it there. So here I have a run-of-the-mill Leng DDC pump. This is actually DDC 1T, the 12 volt pump, non-PWM version. Make sure that the O-ring is in place. And then it is as simple as just placing the pump into the slot, just like this. So, that is in place. We take our four screws. We take our aluminium heatsink. We just pop in our four screws. And this will tighten the heatsink to the back of the DDC pump and just sandwich the entire lot together. So that is the setup for the DDC pump combo, as well as the bracket as well. It didn't take any more than just a couple of minutes. So possible configurations, you can have this reservoir in any configuration that you want in this orientation, standing upright, this orientation, but just as long as you don't have the pump in the upward position, because then you won't have any good feed for the water to come up. As well as that, the only port for the water to drain out of or to be pumped out of is down here. Um, and basically what happens if you have a low water level, then sort of an air pocket, um, well, a water pocket would be caught in here and you could potentially uh, kill your pump with a bad flow of water. Coolant, I should say.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and tour of the new Glacier Series R220 and R160 Reservoir Pump Combos. Uh, to give my summarizing thoughts on these reservoirs, I'm actually genuinely excited. When I first unboxed this, I had this sitting on my desk for roughly one week, just staring at it because I think that this is a beautiful piece of art and the fact that it is a passively cooled reservoir. This, if you haven't noticed, the coolant is actually in direct contact with a nickel plated copper plate and that is in direct contact with this aluminium heatsink. As soon as you get some airflow over this heat sink, it's going to radiate away the heat from the coolant and it's going to drop your temperatures by hopefully a couple of degrees. This particular R160 reservoir pump combo will be used inside my ShiftX project. If you haven't seen that project, then please check out my other social medias, Facebook and Instagram. I've just started that project and this will be the perfect uh, addition to making sure that I have a really standout clean build and supporting some of the best hardware that's in the biz right now so i'm really pumped about using this one i'm <laughs> pumped it's a pun right uh so with that said i hope you enjoyed the video if you do like this type of content then please uh make sure you like and subscribe this video and i'll be sure to push out more content like this for you in the very near future um, on top of that i have the shift x project which will be exclusively uh videoed uh, as a as kind of like a vlog type of format and it will be uploaded in incremental parts as, as soon as I finish those parts off. So please stick around for those. Hit notification if you want to see those come up straight away as soon as they're available on YouTube. So with that said, my name is Justin. I'm from Metallic Acid Customs. Thank you so much for checking out this channel. And I hope to uh, see you at the next update. Take care.